Alrighty, again with the never ending 6 5. Well, I took it to an upholstery place months ago, and the guys gave it back to me like this with no handles, no roof, no liner. They say they couldn't put it back together because they broke the. I don't know what you're gonna call it, maybe the support, maybe the custom piece, this piece right here. And they said that it was impossible for them because it was a custom piece and they couldn't put it back together. So, about 30 minutes between this one and that repair over there. It literally all it took to get a repair. Um, this You will have one of these on your truck only if she is um, like a custom truck or you have a sunroof, which mine does have. Uh, these are Ber Velcro. Velcro strips and I put a lot more than what he has because I want to make sure she has like really good support when she goes back in I'm gonna pull those out when she's ready to go back in then I'm gonna uh, it has a screw right here it has a screw right here that uh, that will help me center it and it has two screws and it has another screw right here in the corner right there and then he has another two over here on the back. That one, and then that one. Uh, to be honest, I haven't even seen the holes in there. Like so, like I really don't know what goes in there. And they don't even seem that they were in service. And so I don't really know. But either way, we're gonna be doing that. Uh, we're gonna, gonna be stitching the seat. And basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it all the way in, like that. Uh, I'll be finishing my my headliner and gluing it all back together tonight. Hopefully, and hopefully we'll stay there. Won't go anywhere. Um, I'm gonna put some uh, sound dampening right here on these big gaps, trying to keep keep some of the heat away. Um, it won't be much that it takes in, but if uh, if a little bit it helps, it helps. So I'll be doing all that, and then I got. Um, real tree covered seats for the front because the leather is man it gets hot it gets really hot so for the front both of them and then uh we got the inner cooler and a bunch of other stuff that i would like to work on and now the work is really slow god bless you all you all stay safe all right uh kind of quick progress review i'm gonna flip you guys over that's as far as I made I made it um pretty much I'm probably a quarter just a lot of cutting trimming cutting trimming cutting trimming and you can see I don't have none of that but I'm pretty pretty much gonna take it slow trim the piece in and shove it shove it on place and then you gotta massage it real good make sure that you don't um you don't leave like empty spaces or as many as little as as little as you can of empty spaces now i have that one like that because that thing barely fits as it is and i try you know with the module and it's a mess i'm not happy with it so i left it as it is no move it or anything because yeah that little it does make us makes a difference so Anyway, I'm gonna continue doing all these, go all the way around, because I can't wait to put the interior back together. Thank you all. Alrighty then, so I got all the way around already. On all the sides. Now the question is, is this gonna make a big difference? I'm pretty sure to an extent it will. How much? I really don't know. I mean, I don't know exactly how much of a difference it will make, but um, it's worth it doing it. I I have been sitting here inside the truck when the weather is like 101, 102 degrees, and it's hot. Uh, you can you can feel the radiation from the heat without the upholstery, without the without the without the headliner, and. <laughs> that's what actually made me do this because if you can feel it that bad I'm pretty sure that it's actually that bad so you know if you can say a couple degrees and then have my keto here that that will make an actual world of difference for both of us because that that's that's a lot of difference a couple degrees is a big difference when you're sitting here in a car 
even six seven degrees and you have the ac on and this thing is just like nice that's that's what we aim in here for anyway i don't have any problems with the with the motor and she's 21 years old uh now this motor was put in here by chuchu customs ages ago and this thing doesn't even have like rust or like water intrusion or vibrations or anything this thing is this thing is still pretty solid i like it uh kudos for them um it's, it's a pretty nice setup i haven't have like i say any issues all the buttons and everything still work on it they still light up key on key off the whole night and it still works perfectly all right yo god bless you you have a great day or night or midnight or midday all right so this piece is already up but everything is cold we got some flat bolts flathead bolts and some big washers that one is, that one is a little bit trim so it will clear the front but a bunch of velcro plenty plenty of velcro all around uh, more more sound deadening on the back uh, towards the back reading light and stuff and we're gonna go ahead and start getting ready to go ahead and put the, the headliner material here real quick but I just wanted to let you guys know what it looks like in case you ever had to take your support is two bolts on the back and three bolts in the front, but they're gonna be underneath the upholstery. So you're gonna have to take that headliner material, whatever it's called, I'm gonna have to take it off and then get to the bolts. Oh, right here, it has clips. One right here, one right there, and one right there. Don't forget those, cause I did and I had to wrestle them and I thought that I was gonna break my, this piece right here because I forgot about it. So, and then once you put it, make sure you tighten them and they don't rattle because they will drive you nuts if they do. All right, bye. All right, headliner is in. We're putting trim pieces and glue all over the truck. So, yeah, and I mean, you guys can see the difference on the shadow. I mean, the shadow, like, like here and here and here pretty much on this thing is like normal I mean you can see the very flat surface back there but it's like it is what it is uh, they're like two different pieces for these trucks I mean you have the piece for the sunroof like you guys saw and guys and girls of course um, as you all saw it it was two different pieces so it's really not much that you can do about it and Nowadays you get this foam that is like that thick. I mean this thing is probably 316s and back day I mean that thing was like a sofa like pillows on it so it was humongous and it will cover all that imperfections yeah no more. So uh, we still have to cut the sunroof and continue putting more of the trim pieces before we mess with anything else so it sits properly. Uh, I'll make more videos, of course, as we continue on the... <sighs> Let me find a word for it. That is, sounds fancy. Uh, Odyssey of doing this headliner. Well, bye-bye, yo. All right, fellas and pals. She's done. Uh, what can I say? She looks like a million bucks. It's a little bit few things here and there that we still have to take care of, but the day's about to be over. We need to get out of here. Things got everything went well throughout the day. I still have to find out some lights that I want to put on. Uh, we're missing the handle for the driver's side. And a few things, but other than that, she looks, she looks pretty good. Now, you know, nobody sells upholstery for him properly or anything like that. So, you know, you're going to see some imperfections and stuff like that that they're very annoying but i really can't do anything and i'm not going to because i'm gonna end up doing something worse than what already is so anyway i'm pleased with the results uh it couldn't be much worse and it couldn't been a lot harder uh, i prep a lot we cleaned a lot we make sure that everything was ready to put back on when we got it on and it turned out great i'm very pleased i like it i love it 
and I'll let you guys know how it goes once we get it all together. Well, it's pretty much together, so I think that's all I'm going to do for this uh, headliner episode for it. And then uh, once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and start working either on my onboard air or my inner cooler. Or my battery location. Thank you very much. You all have a great day.